Over the next several months, we are helping you get back to business in our series called The Rebound Las Vegas. And millions of American workers considered to be essential don't have the luxury of working from home. And that includes construction workers who often work in close proximity to one another. But as Scripps reporter Maya Rodriguez explains, some are using new technology to make sure their work remains socially distanced. <laughs> Within these unfinished walls, Tom Stefanko oversees hundreds of construction workers every day. All of them wearing what looks like an old school pager. But the technology involved is new. It gives the workers a little bit of comfort. These are proximity tracers, designed to make sure workers on construction sites remain socially distant during these pandemic times. So if I was in contact with another person, it would start beeping red. And if I stayed there longer, it progressively beep louder. While they alert workers that they're too close to one another, the proximity tracers also record that data in case a worker later ends up testing positive for COVID-19. So it provides the ability to have a real-time alerting system and then also be able to go back historically and see who's been in contact with whom. Robert Costantini is the CEO of Triax Technologies, which began developing these proximity tracers when the coronavirus outbreak began. You know, the stakes are really high if you get it wrong. I mean, you could, you know, workers um, could be infected, you can shut your site down, the cost can be enormous. The contact tracers, though, cost about a dollar a day per worker. More than 15,000 of them are now in use on more than 70 construction sites around the country. We have a thousand tags here on site. Including the one million square foot building Tom Stefanko and his team are working on in Philadelphia. Most workers just keep it on their hard hat, take it with them as they come and go, so making it as part of their PPE. Personal protective equipment that's now a requirement Requirement to try and keep COVID-19 out of this workforce. In Philadelphia, I'm Maya Rodriguez.